We are going to start today's class with an experiment because I want to show you how important the physical aspect of pronunciation is. Sophia is going to repeat a sound. I want you to look very carefully at her face and tell me what sound she is pronouncing. Ba, 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 ba. Did you hear ba, ba, ba? Very good. What about this one? Ba, 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 ba. Did you hear da, da, da? Excellent. What about this one? Ba, 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 ba. Did you hear va, va, va? Excellent. Top marks to you. But now I'm going to tell you something really shocking. In all three of those little videos, Sophia was pronouncing the same sound. Ba, ba, ba. I just substituted the video. This phenomena is called the McGurk effect. Basically, your brain looks at the face of the person pronouncing the word and interprets the sound according to mouth position. So this means that even if you produce a perfect English sound, if your mouth position is wrong, then people are going to hear something completely different. That's why the physical aspect of pronunciation is so important. Hello and welcome to Kangaroo English. I'm Christian and today we are going to be learning about pronunciation. A majority of you watching this class are probably thinking, oh, I really want to have an accent like a native speaker. And right now, I want to convince you that that is the wrong way to think. The first reason is a dirty little secret. And that is, you will never lose your accent. So don't waste your time trying. But this is not my personal opinion, this is scientific fact. After the age of adolescence, your brain is different. Accents are hardwired into your brain and it is virtually impossible to lose your accent. The second reason for me is even more important. Why do you want to lose your accent? Is it to become more accepted by native speakers? Be careful. What native accent are you going to choose? Because scientific research shows that people judge you on your accent within seconds of meeting you. They decide whether you're intelligent or friendly or attractive only by opening your mouth. Do you want a native accent so people can understand you better? Again, what accent are you going to choose? Scottish? Irish? Louisiana? Texas? There is no one English accent that is easier to understand than others. I want you to understand that this magical, mystical native accent doesn't really exist. No matter what accent you have, there will be somebody who doesn't understand you who doesn't like it, who thinks it's stupid or ridiculous. And that doesn't matter if you have a Spanish accent in English or if you have an accent from Seattle in English. So please eliminate this idea of wanting to speak like a native speaker. What you want to do is to produce the important sounds of English correctly. And that is what we are going to be talking about today, is how to improve the important sounds in English through physical changes. I am with Sophia. <laughs> Hello, Sophia. Hi. <laughs> and um, I have uh, written a sentence in English, and this sentence contains some difficult sounds for Spanish speakers. 
What, what parts of your face can you use for pronunciation? Your mouth, your okay. tongue. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, all this part of your face. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All of your face, okay? So, yes, yes you, have, you have your mouth, okay? Yeah. So, your mouth can be closed or yeah. open. Exactly. Right? Okay. Eyes, huh? Mm. And your, your lips could be like, like open or they could be round. Hmm? Okay. Um, your tongue. Your tongue could be up or down. Exactly. Or, or, or back. Yes. Or, 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 or curled yes. like this, okay? Yes. Um, and then you, also you have your cheeks, right? Exactly. Because maybe, maybe your cheeks could be like, like, mm, yeah. Or, or. So, um, I want you all to be really, to be really aware of your different, your different, like your anatomy, your face, basically. Exactly. Choose a word in English, any word. Mm, girl. Girl. Okay. Girl. And just, just say the word, right? But with no sound, say the word, and just feel, feel your mouth, like. Uh, and just start to like, come come into your mind, come into and just feel feel the mouth. Like what is what is your tongue doing? Yeah. What what is your lip doing? So right. the the first step is just being aware that you have all of these physical instruments so to like yeah. to use yes. to make the sounds. So can you just read this sentence now? Okay. Before we start. Okay. I would like. Good sheep, ham, and ships this year. Okay, good. So, so really, your pronunciation is good. Okay, okay it's really good. We have some little, little details to to improve. Okay. First, let's look at this this W sound. Okay, so W is double U. Yeah. Okay. So, what 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 is the mouth position? Do you think for this? Like wood. Exactly, very good. So, so let's notice, so her lips are really like ooh, okay, well, like yeah. a kiss. Yeah. Ooh, can you do this? Ooh. Wood. Exactly. Wood. Ooh. And we can, you can see she has a, when she says the w, okay, the lips just close like yes. w. Can you do it again? Wood. Yeah, very nice. Wood. Very nice, okay. So you, you, will, you will see that the, the lips are forward, okay, Ooh, and they're round, really round. Hmm. Now, what about this? The, let's talk about the difference between this W and the G. How, how do we pronounce this? Good. Good. Like good. It's not, it's like with, you, with your mouth close, but not as close in wood. Exactly, exactly. So, exactly. So, so with, with the W, it's really forward. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, like ooh. and really very, round. Very, very close. Exactly. And the G is more back, right? Yeah, like huh? good. Cool. Okay. Good. So, so it's less forward. And what about the tongue? This is very important. Wood, wood. It's like almost in the front of your mouth. Okay. Good. Yes. Yeah. So, like so the wood, wood yeah, the tongue is wood. is is front at the it's bottom. It's front of the bottom huh? of your mouth. And it's yeah. down, right? It's down. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like a good, mm -hmm. wood. Perfect. And then good, if you do good, mm -hmm. where's your tongue now? It's very up. Good, it's up and it's at it's the like, back. Exactly, at the back and up. It's exactly, like perfect. Good. Okay, so if we focus on the tongue, we, we have this like... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, ooh. exactly. It's like... Like this, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about this word. Can you pronounce this word? Ship. Okay, so, <laughs> so the, the problem is not here actually Sheep. for you. The problem is here. Yeah. Sheep. So this is a really explosive sound. A good, a good technique to practice is if you get some paper okay. and you put it in front of your mouth like this, hmm. you can go ch, ch. Okay, I really need to just really ch. Just hold it at the bottom, hold it at the bottom like this okay. so it's like loose, so it's floppy. Ch. Good. Good. Okay, so you... <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Chip. <laughs> okay, so let's try again. Chip. Good. Wow. What a difference. Okay, um, and a big difference because you have that explosion. You're trying to push the paper. Yeah. Okay. Now, what about this here in... 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 Mm, in ham. ham. 
you know, if, if you're Spanish, you know, yeah. maybe you're, or, or German, maybe you're, yeah. or Arabic even. If you're, if you're ham, know. maybe it's, it's, it sounds like, more like ch. Like ham. When you make the ch, okay, you're, you're using your tongue to block yeah, the, it's like, it's, like, it's back. Yes. It's similar to good. Yeah. Okay, similar position. Yeah. But, but, in, a, but in a British sort of, an, an English, mm. all right, the mouth is very open as well. It's like. And it's like, it's just, it's so much air. Ham. Okay, like ham. 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 Yes. Now, let's talk about the difference between this here, this E, and this I. This is really, okay, we have E. Okay, feel, you can feel your cheeks, the tension, like E. You try. E. Here. This one, yes. Chip. E, like, only the okay. vowel, E. Like. E, Good, yeah, like, and you can exaggerate. You can more like e, yeah. like like somebody is pulling. Mm. Yeah. Your e, face. okay, e. And now, if we look at the difference between this, this is much more relaxed. Yeah. E, e. Just a little e. bit of tension. E. Exactly. Yeah. So if we if we go between the two, it's like e e. Yeah. Exactly. E, e. So do you want to you, you transition between the two? Like E, E. Yeah. E, E. Good, very good. And then the final word is this, is, is the year. Now, a, you know, a lot of languages, you know, the Y represents a consonant. Yeah. Okay. But in English, really, it's a vowel. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's, it's almost identical to the letter E. Yeah. E. Like year. Beautiful. Year. So if you're saying jeer or jeer or yeah. okay no let's try again this okay. sentence with all of your okay. improvements there. I would like good chip ham and chips this year Wow really good and and I think that if you look at the difference between um, the original pronunciation and this pronunciation, you know, you will notice a big difference. You know, we have looked at one sentence, okay, and improving your pronunciation is a slow process. You know? Exactly. It's not something that will happen in one day or one week or, or, you know, maybe one month, maybe not even one year. So, you know, you have to have patience <laughs> and you know, it's just little improvements every day. Hmm. Like you can focus on one sound. Thanks, Sophia. That was awesome. <laughs> Sophia, the best. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I hope that you found that class interesting. There are two things I want you to remember from today's class. One is that your accent is beautiful. It's part of your identity and there's absolutely no need to get rid of it and change it for a native accent. Embrace it. It is part of you. The second thing is that little changes in physicality, okay? A little movement of the tongue, a little tightness of the cheeks, opening the mouth a little bit more. These little changes will make a big difference to your pronunciation. So it's time to go and practice. Pronunciation isn't here, it's here. I'm Christian, this is Kangaroo English. I'll see you in class.